Good afternoon. This is Andrew Sheets with The Third Heaven Traveler. Uh, The Third Heaven Traveler is a blog about our spiritual life in Jesus Christ and him in us who believe on him and applying this existence to our physical world. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4, King James Bible. We are saved if we believe Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Amen. The title of this study is a powerful, spirit-filled, anointed comment that must be shared by Exposed Darkness 511. Dear Lord, I thank you for this opportunity. I pray this work be submitted for your glory. I pray that eyes could be opened in this last, these last few moments of this era, this era, this realm. Even so, come Lord Jesus, amen, Maranatha. It is written in Amos chapter five, verse 19, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. In verse 20, we'll talk more, this continues. I posted a study blog and the associated video titled Shepherds for Sale, The Second Net, Dominion Theology, Ecumenism, Zionism, the Judaizers, and the Noahide Laws. My sister in Christ, Ursula, from Exposed Darkness 511, posted the following comment that we must examine and share to both edify and to equip, to bless, encourage the saints. I thank you, Lord, for this. Now, on this study, if you haven't seen Shepherds for Sale, the second net, on Dominion Theology, I urge you to watch the video and read the blog associated. Exposed Darkness 511, I urge you to please subscribe to her channel, Exposed Darkness 511, it's a new channel. Her insight and knowledge of the Judaizers and their strategies and the Zionists is extraordinary. I will begin the quote. She writes, Yes, Jesus Christ is still on the throne, but the people have made themselves his enemy, James 4.4. He is fighting against those who are a friend to this world. He is fighting even against the many of the church now. Esau, having sold his birthright, does not get it back. Hebrews chapter 12, 14 through 17. All that is left is repentance for the individual. The course is set and many traps set by a being far more intelligent and powerful than men. In Amos chapter 5, 19, it is written, as if a man did flee from a lion, this is the first net, and a bear, the second net, met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent, this is the third ultimate net, this is the Antichrist B system, bit him. The right wing versus the left wing, or the thesis versus the antithesis, leads to synthesis, which is the third and final net trap in the synthesis, which is the Antichrist B system, which they all flow into from the left and from the right. Now, I want to stop and hold this thought here. I just answered, responded to, and closed out commentary from a Dominion Kingdom Theology Kingdom Builder, a Christian nationalist, and they 
refuse to see what's happening. This is so true. And again, there are no coincidences in the kingdom of God. It's only a God incident that we see that he brings before us. I will continue. She quotes, both sides, spiritually speaking, partake of dialogue, which is the dialectic, with the serpent. And both sides are ultimately being driven by and or to the same place, emphasize the same place, the final net, which will be the full-blown Antichrist system, the very thing men fear so much. This is why scripture admonishes us not to tolerate any leaven at all. And it says, If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Isaiah 8, 20. It's so ironic that you always say, woe to those who desire the day of the Lord. Now, this is, she's speaking to me because I say that often on when I'm addressing these scoffers who scoff the pre-tribulation rapture these kingdom builders, right? And she continues, the Christian Zionists desired to hasten the day and look. It is that exact passage saying not to desire the day which speaks of the nets or traps, the lion, the bear, and the serpent to capture men. As I told you, I'm going to read what she writes in quoting Amos chapter 5, 18 through verse 27 as follows. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies." Though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them, neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials. But let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. Have ye offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years, O house of Israel? But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Chiron, and Chiron, your images, the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. There is your star of Remphrim there, star of David, you call it. You Christian Zionists, you Zionists, worshiping national Israel, back to the scriptures, I read. Therefore, will I cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus, saith the Lord, whose name is the Lord of hosts. Amen. He warns it will be a day of darkness, and one reason for this darkness is that neither side speaks according to this word, due to both sides being leavened by the false doctrines of men. So there is no light in them, even as they quote scripture after scripture. They cannot see because the light that is in them is now darkness, Luke 11, 34, 35. And being spiritually blinded, they will run into the nets. And look, even more bittersweet, This very passage includes the words quoted by the first martyr, Stephen, who spoke of Israel worshiping the star God, 
Did the Christian Zionists think that they could support the state of Israel who raised this star god and its star image without any special defilement coming upon the church also? If I sound harsh, please know my heart is broken to see this. Amen. This commentary by Expose the Darkness 511 is without a doubt spirit filled. It's powerful. It is spirit filled and it's anointed. I thank you, Lord, for this. I pray that the very few out there in these last remaining remaining moments could come out from among them. I pray in the name of Jesus, my kinsman redeemer, I pray. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, amen. Maranatha.